good. Three legendary, iconic riffs. Yeah, in, in songs in total, like you know, you know what I what I thought about Paranoid after I listened to it is that, that album is just one huge riff, dude. It has <laughs> well, first of all, Iron Man, War Pigs, War Pigs, and which I didn't know there was a slash to War Pigs. I know, right? Uh, Sla- Luke's it, Wall, yeah, War Pigs slash Luke's Wall. I didn't hear anything different, so Luke's Wall is just a part of War's Pigs, War Pigs. Which is, ex- it's it's kind of like how, you know, you find out that Sanitarium is just the parentheses name. Oh my God, that's Metallica. right. Welcome Home. It's called Welcome Home. Yeah. Yeah. It was very much similar to that. Uh, but uh, uh, it's good to see you, man. I missed yeah, you. Yeah. It's good to see it's you. It's been a while. Should we blast this thing off? Sure. It's been Let's a, blast it off. It's been a minute. Oh, I have a symbol in there that goes with it. Ladies and gentlemen, roadies and sluts, welcome to the new, Ooh. the newly revamped Bandhouse Podcast. And blast! With every new podcast comes an album review. It's like book club, but not for your grandma, for your middle-aged dads. Right. I got a bunch of news, three news stories, two news stories, and one is a Black Sabbath thing I wanted to read. Okay. Um, and then I've got a couple games for us. One's called Only Drums, where you have to listen to the drums and figure out what song it is. Okay. And then another one is uh, Energy Drink Taste Test, where we blindfold you oh. and see if you can tell which energy drink is which. Oh. So stick around to okay. the end to figure out uh, that. I bet we both crush it. T- 10 out of 10. Well, 5 out of 5. I didn't buy 10 energy drinks. Yeah. Yeah, so Paranoid is great. Um, I've just, you know, the only issue really with Paranoid is that I've heard War Pigs. So many times. Iron Man. So many times. Paranoid. Did you listen to them all the way through this week? So many times. Did you give them a real listen I, all the way I through? I gave the album, whenever it was that we decided we were going to do it, I actually have listened to it a couple times, and it's a great album. It's great. Yeah. It's great. It's just, Dude. man. Fatigue? It, yeah, I'm so fatigued but that by- But more, that's more of a bonus. So, And by the way, stick around to the end when we give this thing a rate out of five. Five stars. Five golden stars. Because- the more overplayed it is, it's probably actually a benefit yeah. to its legendary iconist. But I want to say there's a few on there. Hand of Doom, I've never listened to all the way through. Fairies Wear Boots, I've never listened. To, and, and I didn't finish. I got here and I was still listening to it. So I still haven't finished. What's, but what's, I think I did. It was like right uh, at the end. What's, uh, how, what's the Hand of Doom riff again? I think that one is... Um, we'll, we'll cut it in right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that one. It's really, really sick. Yeah, yeah, iconic. yeah. But um, it's less iconic. It's a riff you learn. What's bo do ba da do do da da do No, that's Electric Funeral. That one, Electric Funeral. Now, that's a slash, right? Uh, no slash there. No, I don't think there's a slash in that one. Okay. Well, that's a, I think it's just Electric That's funeral. not a song that's like a legendary song, like Iron Man and everything, but it's a riff that you learn when you pick up guitar. What about, what's the Caravan one? Uh... It's the weird one. It's like the slow one. It's Second like one? bongos and shit. Yeah, I was thinking that when I kept hitting this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. But no, it's there. Wow. Why do you do that so? Yeah, why the fuck do you do that uh, you know, so Pan- well? Pantera covers that. Oh, do they? <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, dude. Um, you want to hear my Zach Wilde impression again? I think I got better at it. Oh, okay. (laughs) 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 Oh, shit. I don't know. I have to put the gravel in it, dude. Um, Generals gathered in their masses. Dude, that reminds me of another thing about this album. <laughs> Every song has like a drastic time signature change. Okay, give me an example because I was. It got that. And then later on. Well, that one's all over the place, but it's kind of in one time. But uh, the riff where they're going slow and then. Oh, yeah. boots and you gotta believe me. And then it goes into like something different, something straight up. 
Yeah, but that, every song does it. Almost every song, it, if not every that, song. That album flows together very well. I mean, it, it really, to me, feels like you're listening to one really long song when you listen yeah. to that album. Yeah. Like, it's, they, they all, and I think a lot of it has to do with most of those songs are in the exact same key. E? I think it's like E-ish. It gotta e be drop, droppier. I think it's E-ish. Like when you play in the E, it sounded right. Give us a gain. Down and down and down. Actually, yeah, I think that is just E. Yeah. Yeah, so it's all pretty much E. Why should I be kind? Why? Also, unison, dude. This whole whole album is it's like metal's okay, Gregorian chant. That was that was the other because I was listening to like a little bit of it on the way here, yeah. and I'm like, I feel like this album is like the like brainchild or like whatever of of a garage band where. It's it. They they almost sound like a garage. I mean, they probably they were are. a garage like band. They got famous younger but like, than we are right now. It just the. I feel like they do a lot of the things that people tend to do when they start to try to write songs, but eventually you go away from it. Like changing guitars, tempos, guitars being in unison, like with yeah. the vocals. Like nobody does that actually, yeah. except for Black Sabbath. Yeah, they they did. <laughs> they they're the ones that did it. We're overthinking it, dude. I maybe I don't know, but you also, I mean, Tony Iommi's tone is dude, like. Speaking of unison, of I was thinking of Tony, of all time. Tony doing like what you, we were just talking about, which is um, the melody, the, the guitar, and the voice do the same thing. But even in his solos, he has like two of the unison solos, and then they break away and come back. It's like two track solos are like his yeah. thing. And like listening to it more, I'm like, wow, if I was playing those riffs, or if you were playing those riffs, especially you, it would sound like shit. <laughs> but Tony Iommi doing it. It's like whoa, because if you listen, yes. if you don't, if you're just listening, you're like, wow, this is amazing. But if you listen close, it's here. Give me the guitar real quick. It's, if you uh, listen it's, close, it's just basic stuff, dude. It's the fingertips. Oh yeah, he has crazy fingertips, huh? He has no fingertips, <laughs> is what it is. I think <laughs> he doesn't have fingertips, which is why his tone is so much better than yours. He does that lick, dude. Yeah. I do those all the time. It doesn't sound right. Actually, being in this key, it's very Tony Oh, because... Yeah, why can't I think of the... <laughs> we got the idea. Just like how he does. We got the idea. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, yeah, so he's cool. uh, he always changes keys for his solos too. Right, that's a cool thing they used to do. Again, we don't do that. God, that tone's yeah. pretty good right now. Is that both amps? Uh, like I don't a little know. Mixture of two. I don't know. Your black star is squishy. Yeah. It's got some squishies. Suckles. It's it's full tube, man. It's suckly. Yeah, we got a lot of tubes in this room. It's full tube. Yeah. It's full tube. It yeah. it, it descended from this because I think Marshall made Black Star. Dude, we'd be blasting high with stacks of cabinets, not fake cabinets, just broken cabinets. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> They're fully <laughs> heavy, but they I don't work. A, oh, oh, okay. There yeah. you go. Yeah, they got the weight. They got the heaviness that you love. And the the broken back that you it's, need. Instead of the juice is not worth the squeeze, the broken back is not worth the. It doesn't work right. No. <laughs> There's a bongo in there too. So anyway, uh, Tony, t Tony Iommi's tone. Um, Tony. Tony. He's. I mean, I. I don't know. He's got some of the best guitar tone ever. Dude. Even to this day. Yeah. And definitely, I, I put him like number one riff master. Did we ever talk about how Megadeth is spelt wrong on that poster? Wait, really? It's it's oh, literally death. Oh, 
I don't know. I don't know if I knew that. It says that's not how you spell Megadeth. No, it says Mega D E A T H. Yeah, that's not correct. No, it's D E, right? That would have been a sweet show to go to. I know. That's why I love that Metallica, poster. Guns N' Roses, Metallica, Judas Priest, Ozzy Osbourne, and Megadeth. I'd love to go to a show where Megadeth is my shit band, where they're the la- worst yeah, band there. Yeah, they're the fucking just whatever opener band. Give me a break. That's almost objective. I mean, they're in last, right? Everybody else is so... Oh, Guns N' Roses is at the I kind of want to see... I want to see Megadeth again. I, oh, I've actually seen Megadeth. I've been working on Axl Rose, too. You've been working with Mr. Brownstone. He's been lying, but he won't leave me alone. No, no. I get up around 11. <laughs> I get out of bed around 9. Oh, that's actually a really good one. <laughs> well, I don't care about all hell. Because <laughs> worry is a waste of my, my time. <laughs> We're going to have to do a Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction is a 10 out of 10 album, or 5 out of 5, because 5 out of 5 is classier than 10 out of 10, so I like to do the 5 scale. And then I'll, if I give it a 4.5 and you give it a 5, then in total it's a 9.5. Boom, there's See our rating scale. See mom, take it slow, life will turn out fine. E minor. <laughs> I always know where a good E minor sits. Uh, I was playing Dylan, uh, playing chess, and I just kept doing that. Oh, bing, bang, oh, <laughs> you... I did it way too high. Those you've been running yeah. with Bing Bong Brownstone. Like I was just screaming all night. We've been dancing with Mr. Brownstone. He's, He's been, been locking. He won't leave, leave me alone. No, no, no. no, no. no. He won't, won't leave me alone. alone. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> Octaves. I used to do a little, but a little, but a little, said a little, got more and more. I just keep trying to get a little better, said a little better than before. <laughs> Iconic albums. Appetite uh, for Destruction was a good one. Rust in Peace. Uh, Megadeth. I haven't ever listened to that one in Rust its entirety Rust in Peace either. is a good one. But I would, I would kill myself before I did Megadeth before Metallica. Okay. Well, Metallica is hard because I've listened to... Literally all of their albums all the time. Stay tuned next week when <laughs> Bandhouse Studios reviews Saint Anger. Oh. I like one song on that. Uh, I don't even really like it. Uh, what's it called? The Unnamed Feeling? The Unnamed Named Feeling. It comes live. Ooh, sweet Amber! <laughs> Sweet Amber! Dude, this, we're getting back to our roots of just screaming lyrics that we like. So it's not just Creed. Oh, we should do Creed. That's another thing. Human Clay? We've heard it so... It, oh my God, I listened to Human Clay like two days ago. Right, back to iconic, think objective, <laughs> objective brain, not Human Clay, which I also listened to the other day. Uh, weathered? <laughs> Out of not Creed. Yeah. This is. I'm looking up the news. Did you... I thought it was just... Do it again. No, I. it's loaded. The news oh, is here. It's arrived. Oh, so after it's done loading, you don't do it anymore. Okay. Tim Ripper Owens is sick of watching singers who change their songs when they perform them live. In a new interview with DJ Romo... Skip, 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 skip. Who are all of these people? Tim the Ripper Owens is the guy that sings for Judas Priest after uh, Rob Halford. He's one of the greatest. He sings what? high notes. Tim the Ripper Owens. Tim Owens. He's black. Uh, what did I say? Judas Priest singer. No, he's. What? Rob Halford is the singer. Yeah, but for... you know how Rob Halford left, and there was a new guy forever, and they did the movie about him, Rockstar with Mark Wahlberg. Oh, that's about. That was based off of Judas Priest. It's based off of Tim the Ripper Owens, who says in this interview. <laughs> uh, I gotta watch that movie. Yeah, again. you should. And um, the lead singer's gay, and it's a secret kind of. Because it's the 80s, so that's like... No, a, everybody knows that Rob Halford's gay. Wait, Tim is also gay? In the movie Rockstar, the lead singer's gay. And that's a nod to Rob Halford. Oh. But there's also a million other comparisons, because they got their oh, singer... Oh, okay. They get their singer from the from a mixtape of a cover band. You know what I mean. That's where Tim Ripper was. He was like the original oh, that Justin was, Bieber. That was like a really shocking thing, though, when like people found out that Rob Halford was gay, wasn't it? Probably. 
Probably, yeah. I, I, I mean, remember, I want to say definitely. I remember I watching now, like on VH1 or something, about Judas Priest, and they were like, "Oh, it was this big deal when Rob Halford came out that he was gay." Yeah. Which yeah. I could see that for the eighties or yeah, whatever. In the two thousands, it was tough. You didn't want to be gay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Anyway, what? On the album "The Sinner Rides Again," Owen said. Everything you hear on the record, I can sing live. I'm so sick of watching singers, and I don't care. I'm 56, and I've seen singers in their 50s that couldn't do it. I'm so sick of watching singers. I know they can do it, but they change their songs, they lower it, they make new melodies, and they hit a high note for only a second. It's like, dude, sing what you wrote. Sing what you wrote. I understand it gets tougher, but I can sing Sermons of the Sinner and these songs on KK's Priest. So I can sing everything Priest could except for maybe Metal Meltdown. So I just feel like... The way this is written, he had a serious fuck. I pride myself on whatever I did in the studio. I can do it live. I mean, listen here. We're yeah. Doing- well, and he, I do somewhat agree with him. Mm-hmm. I do. It it kind of depends on to what degree. I mean, like when you go see Metallica, I think they're like a whole step down or something. Really? Which in in I I don't know. For me, is not so much of a change that it's unbearable. Sure. And I guess maybe also there's so many other redeeming qualities, like they're fucking killing it on guitar. The guitars. You know and so what I mean? dropping them makes them cooler. But um, he's referring to, yeah. No, there's definitely been... My my biggest example of like changing the song live, and I hated it, um, was The Scorpions. Um, I'm trying to... What was the song? Oh, it was Rocky Like a Hurricane. He was like he was like going off of the offbeats. It was like the night is calling. I have to go. Oh, no. Oh. It's going. I have, I have to go. go. Yeah, right, right. it was See, it deal. was so unsettling. Yeah. It, it's like not much of a change, but it really is. It's it was it was frustrating, I especially because that like, was like the only song I was there to hear. Really. Oh, yeah, that's the one part you <laughs> it was wanted like to hear. It's like the one the whole thing. Well, they they have a couple, but yeah. Uh, and just to to finish up this point, oh, uh, Tim the Ripper Owens joined Judas Priest in 1996, recorded two albums with him in 97 and 2001, and then Halford was back in 2003, and I saw him in 2004. Oh, nice. Or 2006. I was 16. Nice. And uh, that was sick. Um, and I was like, wait, where's the Tim Ripper? This is like, I didn't even know who was going to be there, who was singing. Because I yeah. thought it was Tim the Ripper, and I show it, which I love, but then it was Rob Halford. I'm like, oh, history. And I saw him twice since then, too. Yeah. I'm a big Rob Halford fan. I saw uh, Saxon open up for Judas Priest. <laughs> That's Freak. the concert I was at, too. <laughs> <laughs> what up, y'all? What did he say? <laughs> Let's hear it, Kent. Because we were in Kent. I'm like, just if say we Seattle. Kent. Just call us Seattle, dude. I know. It's kind of sad that nobody ever plays in actual Seattle anymore. Why is Unless that? Unless you you're think? absolutely massive. I don't know, because fuck, fuck Seattle, man. That's why. Dude, okay, this one's good. This is hilarious. Produ- uh, it's like a headline. I, I don't know if it's worth reading, but you tell me. Producer says, Twisted Sister were among the least proficient musicians he's ever worked with. It took three days to get a rhythm guitar sound. <laughs> oh, no. It's so mean to do a headline. To think that to do they, a headline like that. To think that they had to work hard for when I gonna take it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no! no! That's what that's from. That's what that's from is you singing that song. That's where I got that sample from. We we're repeating ourselves, dude. We've been here before. I hate Twisted Sister. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's one of those bands that you know when the when like Gen X or like whatever are talking, oh they don't make music. You know you guys, their music shitty and all yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah. It's like you had Twisted fucking Sister. Good point. Yeah, and they were popular. Yeah, so you played a part in that. You should have just said, so don't, don't fucking talk to me about my music when yeah. you had Twisted fucking Sister. Sit down, Neil Young. Yeah, shut the or, fuck up. <laughs> whatever. Brett, I, whatever I, his name is, Brett Michaels. There you That's go. That's another one. Poison. Every rose has its thorn. That was one of my first guitar solos I learned. Fuck off. It's got a good lick in it, though. A Kirkism. Yeah, great. You ever heard some of the shredding solos from Nickelback? Mm, Same idea for I can't most people. Think of any off my head, but yeah. Dude, they shred. 
Okay, so the whole album was a challenge, he recalls, adding that the band had a lot of spirit. Great vibe. But the but they were among the least proficient musicians. For instance, it took three days to get the guitar sound. We tried everything. We tried different guitars. We tried different amps. We tried different microphones. We tried different placements. It was very tough. We find, Oh, my God. It sounds good as is. What are you doing to make a guitar sound? Why so would bad? it take so long to get a guitar tone? <laughs> I don't know. I hope he's just shitting on this. It's not weird. like that guitar tone is very special. It's just a rock guitar tone. Yeah. Yikes, man. Yikes. God, I'm all mad now. I'm mad to think that there was a lot of work put in for those fucking songs. Yeah. I want to rock. Rock. Wait, do it again. I want to rock. No. Snoop Dogg quit smoking weed. <laughs> Did you hear this? What? Okay, so I looked up an article. and it was That's not week, real, is it? It was a week ago, and it said he gave up, quit smoking. And all the articles said that, but they were all from a week ago. I was like, where's an updated one? What's going on? And I found an updated one, and it said, Snoop Dogg fools everyone when he partners with a new <laughs> smokeless uh, stove. <laughs> he partnered with a brand that was just a smokeless stove. And he says, I quit smoke. That's so funny. Oh, is it one of those like fancy electric stove things? It's, it's a. Uh, no. I, I don't even know. I just know it wasn't had anything to we do with marijuana. We actually just got one of those. Did you? We did. Ooh, no more smoke for you. Yeah, the gas the gas stoves are they're like bad for you apparently. So mm. we got a new stove. Yeah, I like the gas. I I I mean I like the gas too. You it cooks you cook. Well, but I will say that this new stove is actually. I was thinking it was going to be like an electric stove. Dad corner. Yeah. But it's not. For so, for somehow it heats up just as fast, if not faster, than like a gas stove. So I don't really miss the... The only thing I don't like about the new stove is that it looks fucking dirty all the time. Oh, why? All the, I don't know. It's just, it's just one of those finishes that it's like the piano gloss in a car. The second you touch it, it's just all fingerprinty and grimy yeah. and gross. That's what our stove is. Dirty finish. But it does it does heat up really. I'm thirty percent dirty Finnish and twenty percent Scottish. Is that right? No, no oh. Finnish, just Scottish. Okay. Anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, that's it about the dad corner. Cool. I folded some laundry. Dad corner. <laughs> you ready for this game? All right, let's All do right, it. Let's see how many you can get out of five. And none of them are songs that you don't know. I'm almost positive you know all the songs. Okay. I will need the name of the song, not just, oh, I know that one. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's see. I've got a camera over here. Hello, guys. I'm going to explain the rules. I'm going to play a drum track. I'm going to continually play it. You can tell me when to stop, and then we can run it back once, and you can tell me when to stop again. Okay. And we can go the whole fucking song if you think that'll help. <laughs> Okay. Which I don't think you'll need to on some of these. Okay. Uh, and the goal is... I can't wait to look like an idiot. The goal is four out of five. This is hard because it's just drums. And hopefully you can't hear any guitars leaking through and be so pissed because I didn't check these with headphones. I only checked them. Oh, out. yeah. Remember when I did that? Yeah. <laughs> is it you that was... Did yeah, you? that was my game. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with number one. There's something in the back. It's like a crowd cheering. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which one this is. Take your first guess. <laughs> is that back in black? <laughs> no! <laughs> Go ahead and give me the real answer. That is Thunderstruck. It was better. It was better work. You got it. That's a uh, spoon man. There we go. What does he say there? Is it come on, mm -hmm. knock it off? Uh, come on, let's all get off, and then we jerk each other off. No. Yeah, I don't know. What okay. does he say? I don't know. I Why never... do you not? You're supposed to know. I never know. You don't know that? I That's never... your band. I like them. Number two. I'm just going to give you a second and put it away before you hear some guitar. <laughs> do you, get, you got anything on that one? I don't one? have anything on that. Okay, two yet. minutes in. Um... 
Final answer. I don't dance the night away, Van Halen. No. Oh. I'm so happy. Oh. Ah! No! Here we go. What do you think? This is number three for anyone keeping along, keeping a score at home. What in the world? Okay, do it again. Here's some farther in the song. That's a good one. No guitar leaking through. I don't know. What's that? I'll give you one more. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Some kind of sublime song. No, I mean, no. Hotel California. Oh my God, really? That was a tricky one. That was going to be the last one, but since I was running out of them here, I started switching around. Here's one I haven't listened to. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> That's just a beat. You can't hear any guitar though, right? No. Let's keep it going. For those of you playing along at home, what song is this? You'd have to like be a drummer and know the parts. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be a drummer practicing. There's something. That's pretty sick. Set the my shona. Don't do down it. Don't down down. No. Fuck. I wanna be sedated. Oh. I wanna be sedated. Uh, you're one for three. One for four. One for four, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm on fire. How about this one? Oh, it's probably gonna. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's that more ba- specific. Is that battery? Something to the action, we're turning every action. We go right the tone away. Lars sucks. It's pretty good to me. For your final one, unless there's a guitar, which I'll cut it out. Sax Boogie? Hey! What a great riff. Dude, that was pretty good. Throw that riff up for a little bit. <laughs> I fucking, I forget about that riff, dude. That is a nasty fucking riff. One of the best riffs of all time. It's a toughie. But a little, little. We'll have to cut this out, but pull it up and listen to it with us. Top on fentanyl, dude. Okay, for game number two. So what, what I want you to do, you're gonna try to guess what it is, but you're also gonna rank all five of these. There are two of them that are sugar, and three that are sugar free. All right, I'm just gonna turn around now. Okay, yep, you're good. If you're just gonna be blindfolded as is, mm. we are ready. Number one, here it is. You get to crack it, so just close your eyes and crack it. Oh, I gotta crack it open? Yep, that way you get the feel. You can... It's on our system, though. If you peek, you ruin the game. And then the game is over just as fast as it started. <laughs> For those of you at home, you can see what it is. You can't taste it. Though I bet you wish you could. I'm pretty sure by the smell, that's monster. Okay. Oh, no, that might be Red Bull. Okay, remember, oh, the, yeah, remember the flavors because um, 
You don't want to get them confused. So like, it smells it smells like monster, like but I you feel like when in... I tasted it, I tasted Red Bull. That's so fucking weird. I'm sitting How here. That work? I'm sitting here with the monster just to <laughs> put it in front of your nose. Okay. okay. Hand it to me. Okay, so you don't have to lock anything in, but what do you think it is right now? I th- I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go monster. Okay. I'm going monster on that one. All right. Can number two. I'm going to write these down so we don't forget them. (laughs) I love the sip into the mic. I know, that sounded straight up like a fart. We need to hear what it is. You best believe I'm going to be peeping the footage. Making sure there's no leakage, no cheatery. Hmm. You know, I... (laughs) I feel like... I feel like I'm going to say Rockstar on this one just because I... This is having no significant effect on my taste buds. And it it might be because I fucking drink so much Rockstar that it's just like, oh yeah, this is just... (laughs) This is just water now. Okay, so you're gonna lock in Rockstar on that one? I yeah, I don't, I don't know. I I honestly Yeah, okay. I don't know. Um I guess yeah, I'll say Rockstar on that. Okay. Okay, the next one. Now, I will give you a hint with this one. I couldn't find the neutral flavor. So, I will give you the flavor. Citrus. Wow, I smell the citrus from here. That's why I figured it was going to be a, a, pain, a pain in the ass. From here on out, I'm just going to make it extra slurpy. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm just drinking. <laughs> oh, I almost spit everywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> I love how serious you're taking this. I don't know. The, the drum when you're like, I don't know, what is sublime or something? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I feel the nodes of citrus uh, affecting my body in this amount. Of that water. one has a really citrusy afterbirth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna go. Mark. I'm gonna go. Uh, Placeholder. It's got to be a brand I don't know, so maybe like Rain. I've never heard of it. How do you spell it? Uh, R E I G. Oh, that one, that one, yeah. Rain. It's, might be that. I I really I don't know. Number four. Here it comes. Crack it. Oh, see, I think that is that's some type of monster. Cause it's got the, it's got that textured can. The the feel. This would be a lot harder if it was in solo cups. Yeah. Yeah, that tastes like. It tastes like the white one that I get from work it's usually in our vending machine I don't know what it's called but it's like the white monster okay yeah and you're gonna lock white monster in or just monster? yeah white white mo- I yeah I don't know the I don't know the the flavor name but it's white and it's kind of citrusy okay so the first one you put monster so that means you gotta change that one or or leave it and change this one you just did Oh, because they're all different brands? Yep. Okay, well then, the first one's got to be Red Bull. Okay, and you have one more, too, so. The first one's got to be Red Bull, then. Okay. And you ready for the last one? Yep. Number five, energy drink. The diarrhea extravaganza. You also have to chug all of these if you're getting any wrong. 
if you get one wrong, you have to chug all five. <laughs> and have a heart attack and die. On episode oh, that's, seventy. Oh, uh, uh, that's Nos. Whoa. This I'm going to go Nos on this, this one. This is the most confident you've, you've been yet. Yeah. I think that's Nos. You're going to lock Nos in? Yeah. Yeah. I wish I had the... Uh, here, I'll take it back. I wish I had the... Um, who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So, number one. Let's rank it. Can him. I... Can I... Oh. And um, yeah, what do you need? Am I able to open my eyes? Uh, yes. The only place you could see him is on this TV. So don't look at it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he looks right at the TV. It's so hard when someone says, don't look at something. You have to look at it real quick. Don't look at my tits. I think, uh... I really do like that citrus monster. Um, <laughs> well, I still wait. think I still think that second one is just rock star because it had no effects. <laughs> but that's that's always been my go-to. I think honestly, if I had to go, if I had to go taste, I would probably pick. Yeah, which the, one? Yeah. I would probably pick the monster. The one you picked for Monster, which is second from last, you would pick yeah. that as number one. Um, and then what? The probably the rock star. And you said number two was a rock star. Number two had no effect, but you still put it as number two. And then number three, I would say, is the Nos. Yeah, Nos. You said the last one was Nos, and then, okay, the first one and the third one. Yeah, so the one that I thought was Red Bull, I would put at number four, and then that weird citrusy one, I'd put at number five. Okay, and that's taste. That's by taste. Yeah. Okay, let's go Let's go through it. Number one, you picked Red Bull as your fourth favorite on there. The correct drink was fucking Red Bull. Red Bull. Son. You want it? Mm-hmm. You have to have it. Okay, number two, you said was Rockstar because it had no effect on your body. You know your body. <laughs> he knows his body. It's a Rockstar. Number two, that's his second. Big I one. literally, I swear, when I drank that, I there, it literally was like I'm drinking water right now. I don't taste anything. <laughs> like that, that honestly is kind of a wake up call for me right there, dude. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna skip out down to number five. You said it was Nos. Okay. And you knew it was Nos. Okay. No surprise there. It's got sugar in it. Yeah. And uh, then we go up from there, and you said it was uh, a white monster. Mm hmm. You were pretty confident about that. <laughs> now, for number three, this is tough because it's not rain. So you got four out of five right with just taste and feel. But now I'm wa I, wa I want you to get this last one. And okay. the hint I will give you is, it's not rain, but it is a popular, it used to be more popular. And I forgot about it. I, I didn't even remember it till I was at the store and I saw it. Oh my and God. And it didn't even have the original flavor. So it kind of fucks you over. Oh my God. Okay. You know what's weird hmm. is if I get this right, then you and I have, so I had the this exact same moment. I saw an energy drink the other day in the gas station and I was like oh shit if it's this same one I was like oh yeah I forgot that was a brand I don't even know what those taste like full throttle that I was like I forgot that was a fucking can of energy drink <laughs> is that what it is full throttle full baby throttle. woo you have a drinking problem dude and it starts with taurine easy drowning easy drinking yeah, that one, uh, I did not like that one. That one was gnarly. It's got a weird, like, it's like a soda coppery, taste. copper yeah, taste. Yeah, copper. Like a coca copper. But these two, yeah, those, those are, are the jokes. ones that are in my uh, vending machine at work, so those are a very staple. And then I have... Dude, I can't believe you... I thought I at have first, fucking 20 of these at I home I thought right the now. only thing that was going to give it away was the can, but then you said Monster. I'm like, oh, yeah, Monster made a Red bull size can. Because this one's the only one, they only come... Like, they don't make cans like this, Red Bull. Oh. The they oh. only make skinny boys. So even the bigger ones are tall and skinny. Yeah. I, I actually didn't even think about that. 
That's cool. I thought for sure that would be the the one thing, mm. but it wasn't. But it is funny because when I when I smelled this, like that was, was yeah, it, that straight up reminded me of Monster. So, but I don't drink a, I like I I don't drink a lot of the OG Monster, the green can, right, 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 which I think is somewhat similar to Red Bull, but. They anyway. were, I know it makes it harder with the sugar free. Yeah, this stuff is too. fucking sad, man. So this is easy. So next time we do this, I gotta up the ante a little bit. Bring some ghosts. Bring some bangs. Have you ever had ghost? Uh, one time it was like Jolly Rancher in your mouth, like yeah, su- dude. Super taste. The the, uh, the Swedish fish one. Oh my gosh, I cannot get. I forgot them. they do gummy bear flavors. Yeah, so they do. They do like the. Uh, Sour Patch Kid flavored ones. They do the Swedish Fish flavored ones. Yeah, they're fucking good, dude. Right. They are fucking good. I'll just bring five ghosts next time. Also, you tell me which flavor they are. Also, they work. There's something about different energy drinks too, because like, like I said, this, like, my body doesn't even react to this anymore. That's so weird. That's such a weird way to know what drink it is. But, but, uh, dude, if I. If I get on these for a while and then I switch and have like even just a monster or like especially a ghost, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like wired. It's That's crazy. That's a crazy thing you just did. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> oh my God. So uh, let's bring it back to Paranoid. The album cover thing I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah. It's a war. It's a guy in war, right? The album was supposed to be called War Pigs and then- in an interim song, they're like, we need one more song. Let's write a filler. And they go, bang, 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 doo 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 They write Paranoid as a filler song. No I shit. I learned that at like 14, but I forgot all about that. I didn't even think it was like, now as, as a songwriter, as an adult musician, I'm like, wow, cool. Yeah. Paranoid is written as a filler. And then they changed the name of that. And so everybody's like, what's the album? And they're like, I don't know. It's weird because it's... What's that have to do with Paranoid? They're like, I don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Leave me alone, yeah, man. Yeah, I was paraphrasing because we're coming. I don't fucking know. Because I'm trying to wrap this thing up. But, yeah. uh, but I thought that that was cool. And I never really, re- I thought it was just a smudge of colorings. I didn't never looked closer. Just like I never listened closer to the Luke's Wall and uh, Fairies Wearing Boots and Hand of Doom and Iron Man. Yeah. No, it's a great album, man. I think Paranoid is definitely one of the greatest of all time. I think it is soured by its airplay. Sure, yeah, it's it's iconic. I, I think that's part of why I was so excited about Holy Diver is I had never actually listened to that entire what? album right, all right, the right. way through. That's how I kind of felt about this one, cause I, but then I realized how many songs were on it I already knew. Yeah, you start you start in on paranoid and you realize, oh, I've heard all of this a lot. <laughs> okay, so so on a on a rating scale, you can be as objective or objective as you want. This is our fucking show. This is our show. Yeah. Uh, I give this album a solid five out of five. Yeah, I think for I'll go, Iron Man alone, I, I'll go I'll go five out of five as well. Yeah, that's uh, a ten out of ten. Tony album. Tony uh, Tony's tone, his riffs. I, I, the blues. I th- you gotta believe me. Yeah, yeah. That's well, blues, babe. Um, the fingertips. Yeah. Or lack. Sorry, thereof. I got distracted because you started singing a song that's not on Paranoid. Oh my bad. <laughs> fairies you wear gotta boots. believe me. No, fairies wear boots, and you gotta believe me. Is that how it goes? Oh, I well, I went straight to. Uh, well, he does a lot of the same things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I was thinking of uh, Sabra Cadabra. Oh, so good. Or no, not Sabra Cadabra. Uh, National Acrobat. Yeah, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, though. Huh? Yeah. Oh, next week? Stay tuned for next week when we do fucking Sabbath Bloody Sabbath and Master of Reality and Sabbath rest Bloody of, Sabbath. The rest six had, albums of I Black had Sabbath. Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Really? I, that was a CD that I had. Um, actually, we could do Heaven and Hell, which is Black Sabbath and Dio mm. next week. That would be good. You want to do I've that? I've listened to it all the way through, but I would love to. All right. So stay tuned for that, or Van Halen, or Zeppelin, or Fleetwood Mac, or The Ventures, <laughs> or M- Muddy Waters, or J- Joan Baez, or Stevie Bob Ray Dylan, Vaughan. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Comment below what we should uh, what we should listen to next. No one's gonna comment. Say something funny, and then we'll close this thing. Up. Nobody's gonna comment. I just want other people best. to talk about their thoughts, like kind of how you were. Like, I want—is it really, like, it really is overplayed? 
to everybody. It is so over to everyone, not man. just us, right? I don't know if 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 people in other states and their local radio station that are responsible for playing rock music play what we play up here in Washington, but my God, I have heard War Pigs. I don't know how many fucking times in my life. <laughs> You're going a little slow. <laughs> See you guys next week, man.